Hello everyone. I hope you have a very Merry Christmas and a safe holiday. Anyway, this here is a bit of an oddball, and I'm glad I got it. This clock, well, one of the reasons I wanted it, well, actually, there is no other reasons I wanted it. The only reason is, is because this clock was made in the GDR, or German Democratic Republic. Or as some other clocks write it, probably specific to the region, DDR, or Deutschland Democratic Republic. But this one is labeled as GDR. And I wanted a clock specifically from the Rula brand. Because Rula was probably the most uh, prosperous clock manufacturer in the GDR. Now, these weren't sold over here as much because the U.S. didn't really work with GDR. And all we, and all we received was the West German clocks that people know of everywhere. But this one is a bit obscure. It's all plastic. A lot of, I think, Russian things were made of plastic then. Or Duroplast. This isn't Duroplast, but it's got, like... I mean, the quality... I, I think I think it definitely has it because the movement is real good but everything's plastic except for the hands and the dial so they cut the cheaper material that's definitely one noticeable thing and um, it's real compact so GDR made well anything is a lot different from West German stuff. And though they were like the same type of country, different countries governed them, so they put their quality practices to place soon after the war. And this is what the GDR rolled out with. Was very versatile clocks that looked like this. My dad had to get this one from Poland, because they don't have much of these over here. They only serve their own country and probably the other countries Russia had. But, it's very great as far as the weird attention to detail. I absolutely love West German clocks. But because you see them so much, and like, this is the very first one that came out of a really weird zone that you wouldn't expect, especially because the GDR doesn't exist today. These are probably getting more scarce by the minute. I know these are bloody expensive, but this one was a good bargain. It's not perfect, it has scratches on the face, but... As you can probably hear it, it does run good. And the fluorescence, which this clock does have, do work also. The side is, the clock kind of angles kind of like this. It kind of angles upward. Now, the alarm does not, doesn't seem to work, which is a bit of a shame, but um, this is the button right here to enable, uh, disable it. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much all about the clock so far. I mean, it runs like a charm, and very happy with it, especially because it's made... I've been wanting a, I mean, I've seen other clock collectors having, like, all these clocks from the GDR and Russia and France, most of the obscure countries, and I wanted to at least get, um, something that, I can't get, like, all those type of clocks because that would, those would just be too much because those are, they're real obscure, I mean, counting this one, but I'm glad to have 
gotten my hands on a GDR made clock. It's one of the reasons I like it so much. And, you know, both of the Germanys were an industrial nation, so I would consider this to be the best from GDR. Well, West Germany made all their uh, great clocks. It's the best from both nations. And although soon after Ger like West Germany became its, you know, because they weren't under control for the whole time. But they were shortly, like, in the periods after ending the war. They still returned to their uh, same quality standards they possessed before. But I think this, in my collection, would have a title of its own. Due to... I wouldn't say these are uncommon, because, I mean, the brand Rula is real, you know, it's known. I mean, the state doesn't exist anymore, so... It doesn't... I think it still exists, but it's part of Germany now. I don't know what stuff they make or if they're still in business, but I know they were early established before Germany broke up. And then, for the remainders of those years, this is what came out. And quite an awesome-looking piece, I would say. It doesn't look anything like a West German alarm clock. Well, maybe a few, but really, Rula kind of, they had the ability to make their clocks not look like West German ones and confuse them. I can say that much, and so did the rest of the industry there. Anyways, though, enough of the history lesson aside. Really happy with it. It runs great. I finally have a GDR-made clock. And also, GDR, like, output of production was also very low. That's probably, or it was, I mean, I don't think it was as high as West Germany, so that's probably one other reason these are obscure. Anyway, guys, though, um, again, hope you enjoy the holiday. Hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, I will be back with more soon. Take care, everyone.